Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. The U.S. Embassy in the Montenegro capital of Podgorica has been blasted with a grenade by an unnamed attacker who then blew himself up with a second device American officials have confirmed. The attack happened just before midnight last night. The embassy was closed at the time of the incident. The government of Montenegro confirmed an unknown assailant threw the grenade into the embassy compound and then blew himself up with another explosive device. There are no reported deaths except of the attacker. The New York Times reported that a witness saw the man throw the object over the wall at around midnight. Steve Goldstein, the U.S. State Department's Undersecretary for Public Diplomacy and Public Affairs, has said the motive of the attack is unknown and it's not known whether or not it was a, it was not known if it was a deliberate suicide attack. However, one source at the scene has described how one of the grenades the attacker attempted to throw at the embassy exploded while still attached to his belt, killing him in the process. In a security alert issued by the office, people were warned to avoid the area. So, um, was it a, a suicide attack? Did this guy, just this person, just have an issue with the U.S. Embassy itself in Montenegro? Uh, these are questions that may never be answered, but again, a uh, someone uh, attempted to, or did throw a grenade over the fence, over the wall, into the uh, U.S. Embassy compound and then blew himself up, folks. And this is in Montenegro. I will leave you a link to this. I'd ask you please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to. And there's a few links below I would ask you to please check out uh, to my fiction books on Amazon.com. You can get them in uh, Kindle and paperback. There is a free read of chapter one of my latest fiction book called Fortress of Wayfarer's Story. There's a link to a PayPal page and also a link to some music of mine, folks. Please check those out. And I want to remind you, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.